Hello world! I'm here on Val, the second moon of Jewel, to demonstrate an interesting feature of the Julian system. As you can see, throughout Val's orbit, Jewel stays in the same spot in the sky. As I've discussed in previous videos, this is a case of tidal locking. However, that is not what I'm here to talk about. Instead of focusing on Jewel, focus on Lathe. Lathe is the first moon of Jewel that has a lower orbit than Val. Notice that every time Lathe passes in front of Jewel in the sky, Jewel is in the same phase. This means that Lathe has an orbital period exactly half of that of Val. An interesting coincidence, is it not? Ah, but as scientists, we don't believe in coincidences. There is a perfectly explainable reason for this. This is something that happens in the real world too, and it is called orbital resonance. It happens when two orbiting bodies exert a regular periodic gravitational influence on each other. As time passes, the two bodies steal momentum from each other. This eventually leads to the two bodies finding a natural harmony in their orbits. However, if you pay attention, you'll notice that it doesn't stop there. Tylo, the third moon of Jewel, and Val also share this relationship. In fact, the three bodies have formed a 1 to 2 to 4 resonance between each other. Sounds crazy, right? Well, not so much. In fact, the same thing has happened in the Jupiter system. Three Jovian moons, Ganymede, Europa, and Io, also share a 1 to 2 to 4 resonance. Other real-life resonances include a 2 to 3 resonance between Neptune and Pluto, and a few resonances between various moons of Saturn. That's all for this time, and I will see you out there.